Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I hope everybody is doing really well out there. In our last video, we took a look at how to install 80 plus applications just using a simple app template uh, script sort of thing. And in this video, we're gonna take that a step further. We're actually going to install an Nginx proxy manager. Now this is gonna be real similar to uh, like traffic like we've talked about in the past, but um, after having looked at it uh, after my last video, uh, I've actually switched my entire server over from traffic to Nginx Proxy Manager. And I hope that this video will encourage you to at least take a look at it. So uh, let's go ahead and jump over to my desktop and take a look at why I'm pretty stoked about Nginx Proxy Manager. Okay guys, if you watched my last video, uh, this screen should look fairly familiar. Uh, it is the result of using that JSON file in the external templates options. So I've actually gone ahead and installed some of these applications. I did AirSonic, uh, Bitwarden, and uh, Heimdall, which is just down here a little bit somewhere. There it is. So I've installed those three. Uh, you can actually see that I've got panda.local, port 4040 is for AirSonic, uh, port 1234 for Bitwarden, and uh, port 1235 for Heimdall. Uh, so all of those are set up on my server already. And those are the three that we're gonna set up uh, subdomains for uh, through Cloudflare. Uh, so I wanna jump over to Cloudflare just real quick to set up those subdomains first. So uh, here we've got uh, my Cloudflare account for dbtechyt.com. Uh, right here, I've got um, my uh, home's IP address blurred out so you can't see that. Uh, but we are gonna add three records here. They're all gonna be CNAME records. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll say uh, music like that, and we'll say at, and we, we actually wanna turn the proxy off for just a moment, and we'll click save. Uh, and the next one we wanna do uh, also will be a C name. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll say uh, we'll say PW, and then at, so we'll use PW for password, uh, for Bitwarden, we could make that PW if you wanted to. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. We're gonna turn off that proxy status, or the DNS only for right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that there. And then one more of these, uh, again, is CNAME, uh, we'll say at, and then, uh, oops, nope, I did that wrong. Uh, this is gonna be Heimdall. So let's just say uh, dash um, for like dashboard, and then we'll say at there. We'll turn the proxy off and we'll click save. So now we've got uh, our three subdomains set up. Uh, we've turned the proxy off just for the sake of setting up uh, the SSLs through uh, Let's Encrypt. We'll get into that in just a moment. But we need to have uh, direct access to the IP address of our server uh, for the sake of the, uh, the, the, the Let's Encrypt SSLs. Once we've got those, then we can come back and turn the proxy on and we should be good to go there. Hey guys, uh, editor me here. Uh, as I was going through this video and putting everything together, making it uh, viewable, uh, I noticed that there was one thing that I forgot to mention in here uh, to get the added level of security that you're gonna want. So <clears throat> uh, what we wanna do over here uh, on Cloudflare is actually jump over uh, to this SSL TLS tab. Um, and uh, by default, you may have this on flexible, but because we're adding uh, an SSL on our server itself, we can do a full right here. We can click full. Uh, and like it says here, you, you actually have to have a security server or certif security certificate on uh, both ends. And now that we've got uh, the the uh, Nginx proxy manager on here, uh, and we're installing a Cloudflare SSL uh, as we're going through this process, uh, you can change this to full, to make sure you're getting the full effect of, of the encryption on both ends. So just wanted to, th to throw that in there for you real quick, because I realized I missed it earlier. So what we're gonna do next is look for the uh, Nginx proxy manager, uh, which is right here. Uh, so uh, this is good, but what we wanna do is change uh, some of the settings and advanced options. Um, and so what I wanna do is jump over to uh, panda.local, um, and then I'm gonna go to port 85. That's where I've put, uh, put this. So I'll come over to my shared folders. I'm just gonna right click in here and go to inspect. Just drag this up, grab that and copy it, and then come back over to portainer and uh, paste in our absolute path. If for whatever reason you don't see an absolute path here, uh, you can hover over any of these uh, headings, click the drop down, go to columns and toggle absolute path on and off. Uh, of course, it's better to have it on for the sake of what we're doing here. So we'll go ahead and close that. We'll say, yeah, that's fine. Uh, these ports uh, you can leave uh, as they are, but if you wanna change them or need to change them, you can. Uh, we're actually gonna be using uh, the Nginx proxy manager here from, um, 
uh, JLE Sage. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but JLE Sage, Nginx Proxy Manager. Uh, this is the uh, image that we're gonna use for this. Um, by default, it's just set up to run in an SSH command, but uh, you will find a, a stack over on my website. There'll be a link in the description for that. Uh, you will find a stack. I've converted this to a stack, so it's easier to install. Uh, if you just want to do it via stacks, if you don't have uh, this JSON script installed uh, for all of these other applications. So there's some options on how you can get this installed. We're just going to use uh, the, the JSON script uh, to make this happen. Uh, just know that you can change these ports. Uh, that was kind of where I was headed with that. Uh, you can see that these are 8180 or 8181, 8080, and 4443 uh, by default. Uh, this is what it is uh, based on what uh, the, the developers of the script put together. So just know that you've got some flexibility there if you need to change ports. So uh, with all that being said, uh, everything here should be good to go. So now we can click on deploy the container and we'll give this just a second to do its thing. Uh, and then we'll jump over to port 81 to actually manage our Nginx proxy dashboard. All right, so now we've got that set up. We can see that there are uh, some ports over here. That's all good to go. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and grab this, paste that over and we'll go to port 81. And here is our Nginx uh, proxy manager dashboard. Now the uh, username to log in is gonna be admin at uh, example.com. And our password is change me. So then when we log in, we're gonna be immediately prompted to change that. Uh, so we'll just say DB uh, tech, say David at DB tech reviews dot com. And then it's gonna ask us to change our password. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put in a change me and we'll type in our new password. Oops, I typed that wrong. Oops, and then we'll click save. <clears throat> All right, so there are a lot of different options in here uh, for proxy host redirects, streams, 404 hosts. There's a lot of different options in here. And right now we're only going to touch on uh, what we're gonna call a proxy host. So what we wanna do is click on hosts, go to proxy host, say add a proxy host. Uh, the domain name will be uh, music.dbtechyt.com. Uh, we're gonna leave the scheme as HTTP. The uh, forward host name and IP will be 192.168.1.28. That's uh, the address of my actual home server. And then the port here is gonna be 4040 because that's the port for AirSonic. We can see that right there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and block common exploits. Uh, then we'll jump over to SSL. Uh, we're gonna say uh, request a new SSL. We'll say force uh, SSL. We're gonna do HTTP2 support. Uh, you can enable HSTS uh, on both of these. If you've got HSTS enabled on Cloudflare, uh, then we can go ahead and say agree to the terms of service and then click save. And if everything goes right, uh, we should get our uh, SSL and our subdomain set up. All right, so music.dbtechyt.com. So if I click that, so that says it's not secure. And the reason for that uh, is because uh, we don't have the uh, C name enabled here for music. So, or the proxy rather, so we'll say save. And then if I come back over and refresh, it did not. So let's just force it then, HTTPS, oops. Like so, and then admin and admin. And now we're logged in. Um, again, I don't know why it didn't force the HTTPS. Uh, but there we go, now it is working. Uh, so we should be good to go there. So uh, now that we've got that set up, let's do Bitwarden next. Uh, so over here we've got, um, we're gonna do PW for password. So we'll do hosts, uh, we'll do proxy host. Oh, we're already there. So we'll say add a new proxy host. We'll say pw.dbtechyt.com. And again, we're gonna, oops, I didn't click add. Uh, pw.dbtechyt.com. Say add. Again, we're gonna do 192.168.1.28. Uh, I believe this is gonna be 1234 for the port number. 1234, we're gonna block common exploits like so. SSL, we're going to request a new one. We'll force uh, both of those and we'll say I agree and we'll say save. And now we've got that. So now we can come over to here and we can change uh, this to proxy and say save. And then we can come back over to here and click this. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to click that. 
And there is pw.dbtechyt.com. We've got our little uh, lock, our padlock there, so that's good. Now we can create an account here for Bitwarden. So let's do one more. Let's do Heimdall. That's on port uh, 1235. So let's do one more of these. Again, we're going to say add a proxy host. We're going to say, uh, what did I say that I wanted that to be? Dash, I think. Yep, dash. So we'll say dash dos, dash dot dbtechyt.com. Uh, one nine. 2.168.1.28.1235, block common exploits, SSL, uh, request, force, uh, I agree, and save. And like that, so then we can come back over to here change our DNS uh, to proxy and click save, then jump over to here to dashboard or dash.dbtechyt.com. And there we go. Now, what I really dig about this is if for some reason, uh, let's say you don't want dashboard enabled anymore, uh, you can just click the little uh, three dots there, uh, click, uh, well, I just disabled it and re-enabled. So click disabled and refresh, and now it won't, or it shouldn't work anymore. Uh, in fact, here in just a second, it should throw an error saying it's not available. Um, but that's all there is to setting up reverse or the, the Nginx proxy manager. Okay, guys, there you go. There's how to set up Nginx proxy manager uh, with SSLs to make sure everything is secure on both ends. I actually, um, I'm kind of mad at myself for not having found Nginx Proxy Manager sooner. Uh, in my opinion, it's easier to set up and it's more secure than using traffic. Um, with this, you just set up all of your stuff in one location. You don't have to add a bunch of labels uh, like you do with traffic. Um, and it's actually got an extra level of SSL that traffic doesn't have built in by default. Uh, so I really dig what they've done with Nginx Proxy Manager. And I hope that you found it helpful as well. And if you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would help me out a bunch. Um, also, uh, while you're down there looking at the different links to find um, all of this stuff related to this video, <clears throat> of course, there's a link to uh, this coffee cup thing uh, that I've got that if you want to get one of those, discount code down there as well. Uh, also, there's a couple of different ways that you can support the channel. Uh, there's a coffee link for a one-time tip if you want to support the channel that way. Uh, there's also a Patreon link if you want to support the channel uh, uh, through Patreon, become a patron. There's also a couple of different levels at which you can subscribe and gain access to uh, a patrons only discord server where we can hang out and chat about whatever you want to chat about there. Um, there's also some merch, um, but I just had somebody message me yesterday saying that they ordered a t-shirt and it finally arrived nine weeks later. So uh, merch might kind of be out of the question for right now as far as that's concerned. But if you're interested and don't mind waiting, that's always an option as well. Um, so again, links to everything in the description. Uh, but with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.